video, we back, RTTV. Gang, gang, gang. If it was your first time in, I promise you that's going to be yeah. a lot. So make sure you kill better and smash that subscribe button, sir. And welcome to RTTV, where we react to everything. Everything. And we are back with part two of We Still Don't Trust You, don't trust Future you. Metro. And if you want the full and early reaction, Make sure you go to our Patreon right now. We have the first album, and we got this album. We got J. Cole, we might, del or might delete later. We got um, uh, Kanye West, Vultures. We got 21 Savage. We got Beyonce. It's almost dope album. Yeah, yeah, definitely check that out. It's been a heated ass year, bro. Yeah, man. I definitely de deleted that J. Cole album later. Like, nigga, <laughs> pow! <laughs> <laughs> we should have started this reaction with like that. And like, it's really like that. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's, yo. You think it's gonna be better than the first one though? Yo, let's no. not say sorry. Yeah, it can't, it can't. Mm -hmm. If it is, that's crazy. No. If it is, yo, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, especially that 25 tracks. I, I the first one's 20. This is the money grab, right? No. The first, the first one's how much? 27. That's like 90. 19. Yeah, I think oh, okay. Like that's I'm bugging this. I don't know why it goes longer. You would tell Future trying, because Future sold his catalog number. Yeah. So, uh, 17. Oh, he's trying to realize it. Yeah. He's trying to realize his catalog. And I feel like this is going to be more of the pop music. So right. I feel like shit, to me, I'm assuming it's going to be. It could be not be, but I'm assuming Future usually if he gives you the street shit, he's going to definitely give you an album more yeah. man, melodic, and pretty much for the ladies. But let's see, man. Um, we still don't trust you. The first album, a lot of noise. Yeah. Like that, Joel says greatest diss of all one. time. The nah, top two. Yo, it ain't the greatest diss song, but it was an amazing diss song. I hate how niggas out there trying to discredit it. <laughs> all he said was for all the dogs getting buried, all the big three. Like, yo, that shit was fire, bro. Regardless of what you want to call it, a diss song, a diss verse, mm -hmm. a diss line, whatever you want to call it, that shit was fire. Bro. You know, I've never seen a diss verse make a nigga apologize, so it's made, it's become that much more golden. Nah, team. it couldn't be it. It wasn't you know the I'm verse saying? that made him apologize because he, he dropped his verse nah, after the verse. And then he listens to that verse again and he said, I'm sorry. Nah, that's all right. I don't nah, want the nah, smoke. Nah, because it. he ain't apologize to Kanye. Yeah. He ain't apologize to Little Punk. Oh, he ain't apologize to Diggy. We're going to get a track, first track. We still don't trust you. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Still mad about that shit. It's like, I feel like certain times, um, 
I'm not gonna lie, like it was. That was a good song. He's also a good. Nah, I, I can't like the song. It's, it's, it's a pump fake. Like it's like, it starts off really really bad, right? And then the breakdown is cool, but then it's bad again. And then you get the breakdown, and then it's cool. Then it's bad again. It's like six, like it's too. It's, it's like too it's, inconsistent it's right. for me. It's alright. Nah, it's just bad. I can get you. I realized that just give me one minute. Like, just give me a minute. I don't need the extra full. I don't need the extra one right now. I had to say nothing. You could have given me three minutes and 20 seconds. You ain't had to say nothing. What if, like, that show was in the booth and, like, looking at him through the gap, the glass off ball, you ain't got to say nothing, and he was just repeating it. He's like, you ain't got to say nothing. He's like, you ain't got to say nothing. Like, no, you ain't got to say nothing. Shut the fuck up. Oh, that's two in a row right there, bro. Oh, that's two in a row. Did he just reel it back in? 
days in the other place. Alright, I'm gonna get into track number eight, all to myself. Diggity hop, Exactly. 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 Well, 
about to get track number 11 right for you. Like, came on the food, I was old. But there you go, 
know when they got to. It came out of ooh, 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 ooh.
she in love, you gon' say she in love, but I do me bad. That's what she said, don't be complacent. Don't complacent. Don't be 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 complacent.
He's not. Nigga. Nah, he's not. Yeah, he's not the best. Nigga said first person to shoot. No, he can't feel like he's the best because he's not. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. This was written before that. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, it feels like. And don't get me wrong. I do think he'll say his name. And I get his name. He probably gonna say some shit like, "I'm still the best rapper. I just can't battle you, nigga." And my whole thing is like, my whole thing is like, is it? Because you can't even say things. Yeah, that's what I'm just saying. He said. I was never the tough guy rapper. I never heard him even say that on the record. He's been saying I'm the tough. I've always been a conscious rapper. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Now, that's what I'm saying. Recently, he's been talking more and like, yo, I'm confident. I'm top I'm top five, top three. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's not the same feel. So, that's no, what we tried to. Like. He said it. And he no, said but that's that. why we're saying that's recent verse. I feel the opposite because of But we're about to get into track number 19. I mean, one. One of the new joints. One of the new seven. Number one intro. This is the this is the album this is the part of the episode. I mean two or three. They might be the number one, 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 one. Oh yeah. I know man, you got that up. Now you wanna be the now you just this be the stuff so short bitch. Then the urban said that nigga said fuck the victory, nigga. This is really the urban one said. I said get that big four. Yeah. Oh no no bad. Two songs left. Why? 
when you go to the grocery store, you go all the way to the grocery store and you realize you forgot your wallet, take the stress out, then you gotta go all the way back to the crib. Like, it was, it was really, this was really a frustrating listen. I'm not even gonna lie to you, this was really bad, bro. My nigga Jerry feels wild. Well, right? yeah. Like, I feel like, like, when you said you felt disrespected, I feel you on that. Because it's like, how do you drop such a great body of work and then you give us this bullshit? For why? But I feel like with us, is this different because we're uh, reactive, so we gotta listen to the whole project because yeah, I man. don't think niggas, like the way this project is, niggas are not gonna just sit there and listen. No, they're not. They're not, and that's niggas why I like, keep coming back. Like, like, and you know, and you know, what's crazy, though? Yeah. you know what's crazy though? I think I'm, I was so consumed by the bad songs that they were probably good songs that I just missed. Like, songs I was so, are no, those two songs are amazing, oh, but there's probably yeah. other good songs that I just missed because like the other the bad songs were just that bad for me to be like, yo, I'm I'm just gonna assume everything else is bad. Aside from those three songs. Those three songs are great. This was definitely like a money grab. I feel like um there's a lot of people like us that wait to the night the music drops and listen to the album. And I feel like the fact that they hit the the feature, they really wanted us to go through all this shit. So yeah. I feel like in a way futures become um right now become that person where you're looking for a feature on a song. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like he should he's at a point in his career where like he should be able to make top tier music without a feature. Like the, the on yeah, this not for sure. You feel I'm me? Sure. On this one I feel like the, the songs I like mostly have the features. And then I feel like when Kendrick Lamar gave a verse on the first one, uh kinda stole the stole the show. I feel like the world's been expecting something like that. You know what I'm saying? And with this album we expected the same and feel let down because it was just a cash grab. That's how I feel. That's and I put in his defense that my heart and soul was looking for that that K dollar that Drake joint tonight. So yeah, like when you gave me this singy joint, it was like, nigga, my heart's not here, nigga. <laughs> like, I'm not here, nigga. Uh, like, yeah. Play me some other type shit. And I think I think the J. Cole verse kinda of ruined it for me even more because <laughs> J. Cole. <laughs> I like the verse. I like the verse. Like, like, no, but like, the verse wasn't the verse wasn't bad, Joel. It was a principle. Like, it was a yeah, character. Yeah, it was like, yeah, yo, yeah, what side are you on, man? Yeah, like, yeah. What, what are you doing you know, all you do it? Last week, like, nigga, just sit down and relax, nigga. Like, just don't do that. Like, 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 you, just you, chill out, bro. Like, like, like to my fans, you look more stupid, like, doing this. Like, I th- and I feel like, I feel like Gucci did the same shit, too. With the eight songs he added, it's like, uh, yeah, maybe he's just saying enough. Let me just drop some more for the people. Like, I feel like they're catering, like, like, J. Cole's moving on whatever he thinks is best for the people. And I think like Future's doing the same shit. And I'm like, yo, bro, like, just chill out, my nigga. Like, just chill out. Because even this verse, I feel like J. Cole was like, now niggas looking at you like, yo, bro, you really switched on my Drake. And not fuck Drake. You got on a record that this, you got on the album that literally yeah, that's what would say ended your career. Yeah. Or altered your career. And you got on the album that next week, you're, and then you sat on a track that... You're gonna run away if they're shooting guns and that you're not that tough guy. You're co- like that, yo. He was acting like that the last five years, Joel. It makes sense, bro. <laughs> niggas would, yo. No one would have said it. We would have been like conscious rapper cold. For like the last five years, the last thing I thought Conscious, of was conscious rapper from J Cole. That's the last thing I was thinking of. Having on all these young thug songs, so him hopping on this future song and it and it being that tempo, it could have yeah, been a good song. It was completely but even the tempo wasn't yeah. the right time. Like nigga, all that energy you had from Kendrick. Now you want to saw love like nigga, they just want that song shit like all, all my life they come to you nigga like that's what he's looking like right now like future saw the song and he got you on it so I mean hey man get your money bro red red letters red letters ASAP Rocky he he came off corny huh ASAP came off corny oh, I no, think a of all people I feel like should have had his own song on the uh, project now on like. Metro, you should have put me on the first one, nigga. He been he been this to me, nigga. You, you should have known I had something to say yeah. too. Like that's where it came off at. Like you know what I'm saying? That like, was like a terror. That was like a he's terror. like yo, I saw with you. I'm like nigga, all you niggas sleep with each other, bitches, nigga. You slept with your bitch too. That had your kid, nigga. Like what the fuck are we talking about, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, like and I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. If a nigga came at my wife or my baby mama the way Drake did, I'm coming away. Like if I'm gonna diss him, I'm gonna yeah, go nigga. off. Yeah. Bro, I'm sure. not gonna diss you like that when you just had a whole song anti this. Little bad bitch, inside that, then you said in the same album, play with me, it gets really rocky. Like, nah, nigga, like, that's all my ASAP. If you're not nah, gonna go you know in, funny, fuck up, like, nah, you know what's funny? If I'm ASAP, I'll probably just let these other niggas kill him on that, bro. Just nigga Kendrick, I know you got some fly, nigga. That nigga, still still they talking about my shorty, nigga, go, nigga, shit. <laughs> but man, cause that shit gotta get tired, nigga, like, leave me a fuck alone, nigga. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't. 
That's a, that's a thing, nigga. That's just not nowhere near like that at, at all. Bro. Niggas came in all beat and shit. Yeah, nigga, I didn't know what was going on. They like, said niggas came in all beat and shit. Yo, I, 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 I get why you said, yo, know, you wanted another like that. Joe was like, well, I'm like, that's corny, but here's this nigga. I was going to another yeah. corny at that point. But I think we're not going to hear another Kendrick. So thank you, Future, for the album. Yeah. Thank you. No, no, no. See you eventually next year, man. Facto. It might be maybe two weeks from now. You never know. He might have another 25. I'd rather have Vulture. Nah, it's going to be called Nah. We really don't trust you. Yeah, nah, on oh God. On oh God, I still don't trust you. Oh God, I still don't trust you. Nah, I still don't trust you. This part, remember, they just dropped this part to also make you stop this to Drake. Remember, they dropped this to tell you to stop this to Drake with this body of work, Evan. That's crazy. We're going to leave it at that. Number one, right here. Huh? Thank you. You stop this to What part was that? Stream this up, guys. Make sure you guys go check this out on Patreon. Full reaction. Future. Still, we don't trust you. Rob City RT. What up? It's your boy DC. Wow. It's a maniac. Patrick, I'm <laughs> Yo, shout out to The weekend for giving this nigga full song. <laughs> yo. Shout out to Tight Dollar Sign. That settles the act. The round table. table.